Hey guys, welcome back to Disney Merch Reviews. On this episode, we'll be taking a look at these super cute pack of three snack bags. We'll be also taking a look at the pack of one wet bag. Now let's get started. Mike and behind the camera is Kennedy. Today we're taking a look at this uh, 14 by 12 wet bag as well as these three snack bags. Each bag has some snacks inside. Yellow dot means that they're inside overnight and without a yellow dot they're outside in the garage overnight. So some of the complaints by reviewers uh, on Amazon said that these snack bags don't have, they don't uh, keep your snacks very crunchy. So we're going to try them real quick and see. Now we have a lot of humidity where we live. It's uh, March and it's been, the temperatures have been nice and low but like she said we put these out in the garage and these were temperature controlled in the house. Yes. So go ahead and open your bag up. So, Wait. I think I feel like these are gonna taste like staler. From the house? From the house. Okay. And then like the these bags aren't gonna there's not gonna be a difference. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna start with the chip. Oh man, it tastes like uh, maybe a little still. No, it might be a little still. It was twelve hours in the garage. I mean, I don't think they're stale. Actually, these do taste a little stale. And that was the house? Mm -hmm. Interesting. I almost think the garage tastes a little better. <laughs> Me too. Do you? Mm -hmm. uh, here's what I will say. I can't, I can't tell a difference between uh, house or garage. Yeah. Can you? I can Okay, so let's try the pretzels now. Okay, I'll try the one from the garage in the bag. And this will bounce? Okay. Oh, man. These are terrible. Those are terrible. <laughs> How are yours? <laughs> Bad. I didn't even... Bad. <laughs> I was <laughs> want to finish it. Yep. Uh, the garage pretzels are worse than the oh, yeah. house pretzels. Yeah. Yeah, the garage pretzels. So I'll tell you, it's funny, the chips actually weren't so bad, but man, those garage pretzels are not good at all. Okay, these are the ones from the garage and the back. Those yeah. are now still. <clears throat> Okay, so Ziploc obviously kept the food fresher than, say, our uh, snack bags. But that's what a lot of the reviewers said, is if you're buying these bags in hopes of replacing uh, Ziplocs <laughs> to save the earth, uh, I, you, know, you could do it, but your food's going to probably taste pretty terrible. At least your yes. kid's food's going to taste pretty terrible at school. This bag here... Uh, it's much larger, and what's pretty nice, you know, we don't have, you ladies aren't toddlers anymore, but what's pretty nice about this bag is it does come with a strap that can connect to your stroller, right? Yeah, and then you can store all kinds of stuff in here. Cloths, diapers, and again, these are all wet bags, meaning that they could get wet. Okay, so I think a lot of people don't realize that these have zippers on them, and they're not Ziploc right. bags. Uh, which means, again, they are waterproof, or at least they say water resistant on them. Uh, but just to understand that these bags themselves are zipper and are not airtight bags. We're going to put them in a minute in a big red bucket. We're going to dunk it and see if water does get into the bag. Red bucket and three, two, one. Wow, that was fast. That was super fast. Fantastic. All right, so now we've got our bucket. We are going to submerge our snacks in water for five minutes. Sure. Yeah, we'll just submerge them in snacks or in water for five minutes and see what they taste like when we're done. We'll see if they. All right. And one more. All right. Get them all in there. Hold them down. Okay, I got them all. Oh, I can hear bubbles. Me I can too. hear. I can hear bubbles, which means that they are soaking up water. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I do not want to eat out of this. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be nasty. I'm not eating them. 
<laughs> You're eating it. Now let's get the snacks out. Okay. I got the dip. Oh man. Oh, that is. Ew, ew, the inside. Oh, oh. man. Oh. Take it out. Take it out. <laughs> oh, it's... man. Oh, that is. Ew. Hold on, squeeze your water in here. Oh, it. Water bike. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Squeeze your water out. Catch it. <laughs> Ew, you're, you're smooshing everything. So it's gonna be like okay. throw up now. Okay. It. Okay. So, uh, you wanna try your snack? Yeah. <laughs> you want to open it? Oh, man. I'm gonna eat one. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, hold on, I got, I got water running everywhere. Oh, that is so bad. Gosh. I'm not opening. Let me yeah. see. Let me see yours. I have. Ew. Oh. <laughs> That's what he's going to help me. That is. Oh, I can't even finish the trip I have. <laughs> Okay, so that was pretty disgusting. We went and had to clean each one of these bags. We debated showing you what the contents looked like after we had submerged them. Uh, I will say that being water resistant, they did. They actually held the water. The water only came out after we dumped them upside down and they dripped, but they did not drip like this. They dripped through the zipper, but the contents inside were just absolutely disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. yeah, it was even hard to clean. I don't know that I'll eat Lay's potato chips or uh, bread or pretzels. Uh, pretzels for like a month. Uh, but we did turn them inside out. We cleaned each one of these bags. Uh, they were super easy to clean, so there was no issue with cleaning the bags. And I would say that uh, these bags are fantastic for transporting goods. If your stuff falls in a pool, don't eat it. I mean, unless it was in there for about 30 seconds, then I, I think it would probably be okay. It would, uh, it would definitely protect it. I mean, who's gonna submerge their snacks, you know, in water for five minutes? But anyhow, these bags are really cute. Uh, I like the bags, what do you think? I like them. Yeah, yeah, we think the bags are cute. We think they're also good for, especially this size bag right here, is good for pre-packaging, so using it to put a couple of bags, you know, a couple snacks in there. I think the kids is cute if you were taking it to school, right? Yeah. Would you use that at school? Yes, I would use these bags, but for only pre-packaged things. Okay, so you would take them to school? Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching Disney Merch Reviews. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. We'll also put a link in the description box to these bags. There's a bunch of different designs you can get. I mean, we got the Disney, but there are a lot of super cute designs online as well. I think we paid maybe $16 for this and maybe like $10 or $15 for these three bags right here. If you enjoyed this video, please go subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Bye guys, see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Hey guys, welcome. No. Mm -mm. Hey guys, nope. welcome. It comes in a pack nope. of one. Now let's get started. Um, oh, Watch your whoa. Head. Oh, on this episode, we'll be taking a look at the pack Can of. Can we do this again? I'm sorry. I would use these bags if I only had pre packets. I'm trying to hold them. That's out. I don't know why I can't do this. <laughs> For only pre packaged foods. You just seem so serious. We'll also put a link to the description of these uh, bags in the description box. I don't know what I'm talking about again. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> exactly what I'm letting you know. You still have the one. Oh, man.